All right, sir. Hi guys, so today it's a bit chill day, relax day. Wala tayong itinerary. So yesterday we went to the ano, to the cemetery kasi to visit my dad. So nakita niyo naman, uh, I was with my family and then I went back to the condo. Uh, today I think I'm gonna just go to the gym later. Uh, and do some errands. Okay? Normally during uh, All Souls Day and All Saints Day, it's a long weekend for us. But then, hindi po pwede na umalis ako. <laughs> so, sa family namin, bawal kaming umalis. So, kaya dito lang kami sa Manila. But, it's a long weekend. You can go to a quick uh, drive to wherever you want. No? Um, yeah, and medyo okay yung weather today. Uh, and, uh, very nice to to go outside, okay? Hi guys, so <clears throat> I'm using the microphone here. I bought some accessories that I have for DJI in Shopee. Medyo mas mura siya. Uh, that includes yung magnetic, the magnetic holder. Then I have the uh, tripod, and then some protective film for the screens. Okay, I'll show it to you. So guys, this is what I bought in Shopee. So I bought this magnetic one for my Osmo, Osmo Pocket 3. So it's good. Uh, this one has a good uh, magnet. Uh, at the back so that you can mount your Osmo uh, anywhere you want that there's metal. Now, I also bought this one. <laughs> it's a, um, how do you call that? It's a tripod, a small tripod that you can carry with you. Nakalagay kasi siya ngayon dito sa Osmo. Then, I bought also this one, the carrying case for the pocket key. So as you can see, it houses the the main camera, then your extension battery, your mic, and then your um, tripod and the additional handle. So basically, your content creator kit is uh, housed in this carrying case. Okay siya. Maganda yung build niya. So ito siya. Uh, and uh, safe yung gamit mo kasi medyo sturdy siya. And maganda siya for traveling. So if you will be carrying your Osmo pocket uh, and then put it in your luggage, then this is good. But yeah, it houses all. Pero kung meron pa kang yung mga iba pang mga accessories, uh, hindi na siya kasha dito. Okay? Uh, pwede siya siguro storage lang pag sa mga bag mo, backpack, ganyan. Para lang madali lang siya maprotektahan. Okay, so madali lang siya. Mura lang siya. Uh, I think this one, th among all the ones that I bought, I think this one is a good buy. Most of your uh, vlogs, pwede mo siyang i-mount. No? And then also the, uh, the, the tripod. Ah, so okay siya. Okay yung mga binili ko. This is, I bought this in Lazada. So this one is I think 400 pesos. This one is 150, 200. I'll, I'll check it out and then I'll post it here. Pero yung build quality niya is okay. Uh, mas mura siya than the normal na mabibili mo sa DJI. But I think the same material lang din naman. It came from China, by the way. Alright? Okay. So Bye. guys, time check. It's 5.30pm. And uh, I'm going to hit the gym in a bit. I'll uh, show you some clips of my workout. So today I'll be working out with my coach here in Chinoma Fitness First. Wait. Yep. So, 6 o'clock kami. Uh, and yeah.
Hi guys, <laughs> what's up, teacher? Uh, Vlad's Vla, Vlad's vlog. So we're going today. We're going to work out his back and actually whole body holistic approach. Just enjoy the show. Tignan nyo kung paano ko siya pahirapan. So guys, I'm done with my workout and uh, I had a back exercise. So as you can see, uh, I've been going to the gym uh, together with a, a PT session from my coach, si Coach Dave. So uh, matagal ko na siyang coach. So para mga four years na. And uh, the benefits of using or having a coach is actually to push you even further sa mga workout. And then, uh, meron ka ng program na pinafollow that i-execute nyo. So, also, it will help you to prevent any mga injury, ganyan, saka proper execution ng form ng exercise. Kasi kung hindi, pwede naman. Pero baka ma-injury ma kayo lalo na pag mabibigat yung mga gamit nyo or ginagawa nyo. So, yeah, it's better to have like at least ilang sessions with a coach uh, when you are starting or you are in the middle of the working out para at least na, na kikita ninyo yung progress and also yung form ninyo kung nag improve siya. Alright? So, yeah. So, I'm done with the gym. So, kakain muna ako ng dinner here at Mr. Kebab uh, sa May Quezon Avenue. Medyo maraming tao kasi dinner time. Magna 9 o'clock na, pero ang dami pa rin tao. Ang daming tao na nasa labas na nakapila. So, normally, dito ako pumupunta kapag gusto ko ng pagkain after gym kasi beef siya, tsaka may protein. Yun. Uh, matagal na rin to. Ito yung main branch nila, actually. Okay, so later, I'll uh, update you dun sa pagkain. So they have garlic sauce and hot sauce. Okay, so nag-order ako ng beef shello kebab. Kaso wala sila. Normally, yung beef shello, special beef shello kebab is meron siyang dalawang beef. Tapos yung isa, ground beef, tsaka yung isa, parang tenderloin. Kaso wala yung tenderloin. Ayan siya, beef kebab plus shawarma plate. Kasi wala nga yung tender yun. So, pinagsama namin yung shawarma tsaka yung beef kebab. Ayan. So guys, tapos na kami kumain. As you can see, naubos ko yung pagkain ko. <laughs> naubos ko yung pagkain ko. Uh, masarap yung uh, beef kebab. Actually, yun naman talaga yung staple ko na kinakain dito. 
Dahil ngayon yung yung shawarma plate, sobrang dami mo. Parang hindi namin naubos. Pero madami din siyang mga vegetables. So, kaya hindi namin naubos. Tapos may rice ka pa. So, kaya worth it naman siya. I think this one is 280 pesos. So, 280 yung shawarma plate. Tapos yung beef shell of kebab. Special. Is ano siya? Uh, 270. Yes. So, sulit naman siya. Kapag gusto niyang mabusog na legit na pagkain. So, I would rate this special beef cello kebab as 8 over 10. And then yung shawarma plate, 7 over 10. Kasi sobrang dami niya. Kung ako lang kakain mag-isa, feeling ko, hindi ko rin siya maubos. Pero normally naman kasi yung shawarma plate, kakainin mo siya with a pita bread. Diba? So, uh, pero okay siya. So kung gusto nyo, dito siya sa may uh, West Ab. Uh, along West Ab. Malapit sa SM. Okay? Pupunta na ako. Kamahal. Bye.